of 35,000 micro decisions every single day. But do we ever sit down or slow down to think why or how these decisions are being made? Out of all of these choices that we're making, some are conscious, some are subconscious. For example, a subconscious decision that we make every day is hopefully brushing our teeth in the morning. And a conscious decision is when we go downstairs and we want to eat for breakfast. Little do we realize is those conscious decisions make up where we are right now in life. And what's even bigger than that is those are based on how we feel at the moment. I want to tell you all a story about the first time I realized my micro decisions had a large impact on my life. See, I had this best friend, and he lives like six hours away from me. And whenever he comes to town, we sit and talk in Waffle House for hours. So this one day he came by and said, man, I feel like getting into some stuff today. I've had this girl, or he had this girl that he liked, and he wanted to crash a sleepover. I said, you know what, man, I just had a 10-hour day of work. I don't feel like doing anything. But then I had to ask myself before I answer the question, why do I want to let my feelings get in the way? Then I remembered our motto. I'm here for a good time, not a long time. So I said yes. We called them up, and as you can expect, they said no. So we continued to talk in Waffle House. Some hours continued to go by, and they eventually called back. We planned a double date for the next day, which turned into what I'm currently still in, a three-year-long relationship. That was the moment that I realized my micro feelings and decisions have a large impact on my life. But when it comes to that, we had to understand that it's OK. It's OK to feel, have these feelings. These feelings come from the emotional state that we're in at the moment or reaction to a situation. So after I realized that, I asked myself, what are these feelings that we have every single day? And there's a plethora of them. I'm not going to go through all of them, but I do want to go over three of them. The first one is fear. There are two types of fears that I believe we, we have. The first one is going to be macro fears. These are the ones that we don't experience every single day. For me, it's going on a roller coaster. I'm scared of heights. When this happens, my heart starts beating. My palms get sweaty. I have to have that rag at the back of my pocket. I had to prepare myself. But these micro fears that we have, these are the ones that can break the limitations that we set on ourselves. For example, let's think back to when we were in school. And maybe you were a very shy individual and you don't like speaking in front of the class. One day, the teacher calls on you. And instead of running from it, you decide that you want to share your idea with the class. And your, your teacher says, your idea is genius. So now, you feel a lot more confident moving forward about talking from the class, just because you made that one decision to speak. The second feeling is being overwhelmed. I'm pretty sure a lot of us feel overwhelmed. It may be daily, it may be weekly, but at one point, we all have. And when it comes to being overwhelmed, <laughs> I get immobilized a lot when I start feeling overwhelmed. And we think back to when we were in possibly middle school, high school, or even college. How many times did it feel like all your teachers or professors gave you homework? And you're like, man, I got all this work to do. I still got to work today. I still have practice. And then when you get home, you just drop your book back. You look at the wall and say, you know what? I'm not doing this today. Then the next thing, when you walk into class, you get an F on that assignment. And then what if you start feeling that multiple times a week? Now it's turned into a month. Now you fail the class. That happened to me. Nobody wants to retake the class. But that's what happens when we let our feelings take control of the decisions that we make on a daily basis. Now, on the other hand, the last feeling I want to talk about is positivity, our favorite one. This is the one where you wake up in the morning, you have a great breakfast, you talk to your boo, you actually did the homework, and now you got an A on it. These can still lead to impulsive decisions. Remember that best friend I was telling you guys about? Well, let me tell you about the original story that gave us that motto. One day, we had just finished working. We got about $100 in tips. 
we feel really good about ourselves. So I said, you know what? I'm going to call this girl that I had a crush on at the moment. Next day, we planned another double date, which turned into us driving two hours away, going on a shopping spree, going to an NBA game, and then almost getting stood up for that double date. We were sitting there waiting like 30, 40 minutes at the restaurant. And at that moment, we were just like, why are we here? And then we said, you know what? I'm here for a good time, not a long time. And that has been our motto ever since then. But what I want you all to understand is, when it comes to these emotions, it's OK. It's OK that we feel them, because we're human. And the thing about these emotions, since we are all human, is we have to figure out how to control them. And once we control our emotions and our feelings throughout the day, that's when we can just control the decisions that we make. And so the way that a lot of people are able to control their emotions is through mindfulness. Mindfulness is a very simple way. Understanding the environment that you're in, how you feel, what you want to get from it. And the way that I'm able to, the way that I'm able to conquer my mindfulness, simple. I'd like to take a seat, just like this. Take a deep breath. it out. At that moment, after doing that a couple of times, I'm able to control my breathing. My heart rate slows down. And I'm able to understand the situation that I'm in. I even did that backstage before I came out here. <laughs> I almost fell asleep, I promise you. But if we're able to do that five to 10 minutes a day, every single day, we'll see a massive impact on our lives. So the next time we feel a heightened emotion, we feel kind of sad, really happy, fearful of a situation, just take a deep breath, slow down. A lot of us live a very fast-paced life. So we need to take a moment to realize what's actually going on around us. After you do that, ask yourself these three questions. What's the environment that I'm in right now? How do I feel? And what do I actually want to gain from this situation? If you're able to do that every single time that you feel your emotions and your feelings starting to get to you, that's when you start making rational decisions instead of emotional decisions. And when we do that, that's when we see the change in our lives that we want to see.